And right now we are learning more about the victims from the failed smuggling attempt. The Archbishop of San Antonio has a message and prayer for those lives lost and those recovering. Ken Spies, Victoria De Leon has more. Yeah, Audrey, Archbishop Gustavo, Gustavo Garcia Sierra said he immediately went to hospitals when he learned about what happened. And at the time, he didn't know their names. And to this day, he still doesn't know many of their names. He just knew he had to at least try to comfort them after they've experienced unimaginable pain. A memorial grows, but names are nowhere to be found as strangers mourn the lives lost in an 18-wheeler. There were a few things that called my, my attention. First was to respond and go to hospitals. Archbishop Gustavo Garcia Siller didn't know who the survivors were, only that they're human beings. With all of them except one, I was able to say something, knowing that there was not going to be any response because they were intubated, they were hooked to the machines. Of the people in the hospital, a young girl provided a much needed glimmer of hope. She looked to me like maybe she was from there. So I said, are you from Guatemala? And she smiled, said yes. I felt a, a, a little bit of consolation myself, you know, with that smile. Archbishop Gustavo has been to several hospitals visiting people he doesn't know. The other ones, they were unconscious and uh, at that time, there were 48, so since then, some passed away. As strangers mourn strangers, prayers continue for the people who died in an inhumane way. God knows them. God knows very well their names. God knows how they can be happy now. And the Archbishop is also calling for immigration reform. During our interview, he told us he believes that the migrants who were not only physically abandoned in that trailer, but talked about how immigrants in this country are often abandoned by the systems in place that are meant to protect them. We're live from the Medical Center. I'm Victoria De Leon, Kent's Fife.